and begin. So this is my flowchart for my first, the challenge of the Corel one. So first I start off with my main method and I include world.reset, read world, set visible, set delay, Corel and task to create the world itself, make it visible and uh, the robot as well named Corel. And I call the task method in this main method. Then the task method includes the methods move, move twice, turn right, turn left, left twice, turn right, right twice, put beeper, and beeper twice. So the robot tries to move throughout the world and place beepers to create symmetry. Then my turn right function is where set delay is used and the robot turns left three times to give the illusion that the robot is turning right by quickly turning left three times. Then the left twice function method uh, makes the robot turn left two times. The right twice method um, has the robot turn right two times. The beeper twice is where the robot places two beepers in one spot. And move twice is where the robot moves forward twice. So this is the code. I started off importing Corel the robot, and then I created my public class one extending UR robot. I created a method. Uh, I used super to make sure that I could use the class classes throughout. And this is my turn right method where I set the delay to zero and then had the robot turn left three times really quickly and then set the delay back to 25 so that it would seem like the three turns left are happening instantaneously and the robot is only turning right once. Then my move twice method has the robot move forward twice. Left twice has the robot turn left two times. Right twice makes the robot turn right two times. Beeper twice has the robot place two beepers in the same spot. And this task method is where I completed all of the, the separate methods. I included all these methods in here so that Corel could go through the whole picture and create symmetry. So I use my methods like move twice, turn right. I use for loops so that um, Corel could move forward multiple times. Like here, I had Corel move forward seven times. Then six times, I included beepers where I needed to place them. I had the robot move forward five times and I just continued using the different methods and for loops until Corel could move through the whole, uh, the whole world and place the beepers. So then in my main method, I reset the world. Then I read the world from 1.txt. I set the world uh, to visible. I set the delay to 25 so that all of the movements could be seen except for when the robot turns left three times. I created the robot named Corel and I called the task method. So this is what it looks like. Oh, and this is the world that I created. So I have 16 streets, 15 avenues. I included different beepers and east-west walls and north-south walls to create the whole world. So Corel is just traveling throughout and placing the beepers where it needs to be placed. So now on both sides, you can see all of the beepers are placed in the same spot and they have the same number so that it appears symmetrical. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Uh, Outstanding presentation.